Hi, my name is Stevie, an affiliate with the Sensorica Network, and welcome to the second video about the Green Wall Project, a project that is run at the Sensorica Montreal Lab. A few days ago, we published the first video for this project that presented some general information about the project and also how we designed and built the structure of this green wall. Um, this is a green wall, it will be filled with plants, pots like this one that you can see here that will be sitting on PVC pipes. These PVC pipes will drive water to every individual pot. We will probably have three or four rows of this PVC pipe. We haven't completed the design yet. That's the second phase of the project. And, um, <clears throat> and also through these PVC pipes we will pump air. Air that will go through the, the root system of the plant come out on top and that's supposed to purify the air in your environment. Purify it from dust but also from chemical particles which is based on a NASA study. And that is um, because of some biology that happens in the growing medium of the pots but also because of some ingredients uh, that we put inside the growing medium like activated carbon for example. So before we even started this project we decided to run some qualitative experiments to see how the plants grow in such environment. Uh, first of all, uh, the water will be driven to every pot through these PVC pipes and the pots, which this is a model of the pot, the pots will have a week or uh, some sort of uh, uh, way to um, essentially soak water from, from the pipe. In this particular case here we have water in the reservoir and you see that the plant is sitting on this pop bottle that has been cut in half. You have a cutting piece here that soaks into the water, so the dry plant um, takes as much water as, as it needs, <coughs> as it dries the um, um, growing medium here, it will soak more, uh, more water into it. So that's the arrangement and these experiments, first of all, we wanted to see um, is the plant going to get enough water? Uh, from, from such arrangements. So this is a model, this is a, a sort of a prototype of these plant pots. And we've been growing this plant here in this particular pot for the past four months. What we can see that uh, definitely it gets enough water. We also validate the composition of the growing medium that we did ourselves. Uh, it's uh, made out of um, four or five ingredients. I can't know for sure, I'm not the guy that is the expert on soils. So we have a sensorica affiliate, his name is uh, Bruce, uh, that uh, knows a lot about plants uh, and growing media. And so he's the one that uh, does the recipe. <laughs> we will probably, most probably have a, a video uh, just about the soil in the near future and, and about our hypotheses of, of what happens inside uh, that growing medium. Um, so from this experiment what we learn is that the roots of the plant, as you can see, <clears throat> they actually grow through, uh, through this hole where the cotton piece is uh, coming out and they grow into the water reservoir. So one conclusion is that if we use the same model, um, the roots from all these pots will invade these PVC pipes and might, they might cause some problems. First of all, roots in water, uh, soaking in water is not good for the plant, uh, they might uh, rot it, <clears throat> and also um, they might clog uh, this, this piping system. So one way around it is to, I mean what we learn here is that uh, if this problem is somewhat inevitable, we have to design these PVC pipes in a way that we can easily detach them uh, and clean them once in a while, service them once in a while to take out all these roots that might grow inside. And another thing is uh, how to design uh, this wick at the bottom of the pot so that we can prevent the roots from growing uh, through it. Maybe by putting a membrane uh, in place uh, inside the pot, um, we would prevent that from, from, from happening. But the plant is doing pretty well after four months. Here's another experiment, it's a larger pot. We have uh, three different varieties of plants here, each one with their own sensitivity, using the same composition of soil. And mainly what we wanted to learn here is if driving air through the root system uh, 
would negatively affect the growth of this plant. Is it going to kill the plant? Uh, and uh, so what we did, we took a larger pot and um, we filled it up with uh, soil from here to the top. And we installed a computer fan uh, to generate some positive pressure underneath and have some air um, grow, uh, going through uh, this porous uh, growing medium. First observation, observation after four months of uh, uh, having these plants inside this pot, everything is going well. They're growing very well, they're blossoming. So this seems to work well. And um, so one quality conclusion is that, you know, in this particular arrangement with this low pressure air or low volume air driven through the root system, uh, the plant is actually doing uh, very well. And uh, also, uh, it's actually, the plant is actually doing too well according to some of our specialists uh, and there's a hypothesis here that as we drive air through the growing medium uh, nitrogen N2 that is abundant in the surrounding air uh, might get oxidized by microorganisms that are naturally growing in the growing medium and uh, they uh, it becomes available for the plant as a fertilizer you know that nitrogen is used heavily in agriculture uh, in the form of salts. We spray these things, we put these things in, in, in our soils uh, to fertilize the plant. So one hypothesis is that this plant might actually, might actually fertilize itself uh, by uh, fixing nitrogen in a form that becomes available uh, to uh, the plant. So this experiment is also conclusive. Again, these are just qualitative uh, <coughs> observations. In the near future, we have to do some more controlled experiments and, and drive some more quantitative um, data uh, and information out of that. Uh, but for now, we just wanted to see if, uh, if these plants will be happy in this kind of uh, green wall. This is another experiment, a larger scale. Uh, again, we have three types of plants, a vine, this uh, common interior plant, and this guy here. This experiment was running only for four weeks. And uh, the difference between this and that is that inside there is a, a more powerful air pump. Uh, it is a, a diaphragm air pump that is normally used in uh, fish ponds. And it's able to generate uh, a much higher pressure uh, and drive a higher volume of air through the growing medium. Again, there are no real signs of uh, problems in, in this particular pot. Uh, this guy here had some leaves uh, dried. It's probably from the stress of uh, repotting it, um, we believe, but we still have to wait a month or two to um, have the final verdict on that. Um, <clears throat> so essentially here we're asking the question, what if we drive more air, uh, more than what this computer fan here uh, can, can drive in this particular pot? So there we go. These are our qualitative experiments. Uh, and I think uh, it is conclusive enough to um, choose a model of a pot and start the installation of these PVC pipes and the pots on top, which is the second phase of this particular project. So we're going to design these PVC pipes, all the connections between them, install the air pump and the water pump and the water tank inside the base of the green wall. <coughs> and, uh, uh, once this phase will be ready, we'll run that for a while and then we will go to the next stage where we make the green wall uh, completely autonomous and a connected device, meaning you will send data to the internet or a website, um, uh, information about uh, how the system performs and uh, it will be completely autonomous. The only thing we have to do is to change or to refill the water tank and service the plants once in a while in uh, cleaning and so on and so forth and in case we have to clean the, the PVC pipes we'll see how that will go in the future. Uh, so thank you for watching and I again extend my invitation to you to join our project. Uh, this is an open source project and it's also an open enterprise type of project uh, since Roika is composed of freelancers and collaborative entrepreneurs so we get together on projects like this one uh, collaborate um, and uh, work with an agreement uh, which is uh, if 
that one day we generate some revenue. If one day this becomes a product, we will share the benefits according to everyone's contribution. Everyone can join the project. If you have a passion about plants, if you have a passion about woodwork, if you have a passion about air pumps and water pumps and electronics and, and, and control systems and software, uh, you can join the project. If you're looking for a friend that is passionate about this collaborative economy, if you have an experienced collaborative entrepreneurship, you can also join the project. So please come to the lab or contact the community, <coughs> the Toyota community through Facebook or on the website. And if you're not in Montreal, it's not a problem. We can always help you catch up with us, build your own green model at home, uh, and then we continue collaboration online uh, to further develop this kind of platform system. Thank you very much.